The movie begins in the year 2019 when the world is suffering from bad climate change. The temperature is rising to its peak, the ice is melting, and floods are wiping out the cities. Tsunamis, floods, droughts, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, anti-vax rallies. In Madrid, a heat wave killed 2 million people at once. To stabilize nature, the United Nations calls a meeting of almost all the countries of the world to combat natural disasters. In the UN meeting, a resolution is passed to create a huge satellite named Dutch Boy to control the deteriorating Earth's environment. Top scientists from across the world are chosen to work on the project. After the tireless efforts of the scientists, the Dutch Boy is sent into space accompanied by other small satellites representing individual countries. The satellites counteract the bad weather conditions in different parts of the world. Fortunately, scientists succeed in controlling climate disasters. The whole mission is designed by a chief architect named Jake Lawson. Later, when the world returns to normal, the U.S. government claims that the Dutch boy belongs to their country. But Jake opposes the allegations of the U.S. government and says the Dutch boy is not the property of a single country, but rather every country has its due share in it. Despite being an American, he rejected their claims, and consequently, he was fired from his job. He is replaced by his younger brother, named Max, who already knew that the officials would fire him soon. Jake lashes out at Max and leaves the office. The movie fast forwards to three years later. The scene shifts to a group of United Nations soldiers invading a tribe in the desert of Afghanistan. Surprisingly, they find the hot desert turning into a cold desert, and everything, including the humans, is freezing. The soldiers reported to the U.S. government about the unusual situation in Afghanistan. The government officials chaired a meeting to discuss the matter. Outside the meeting hall, Max meets a U.S. Secret Service agent named Sarah Wilson, who is also his fiance. During the meeting, the U.S. President, Andrew Palma, and the secretaries claim that the satellite over Afghanistan is malfunctioning, causing the weather to be disturbed. They try to hide the incident rather than take any action. Meanwhile, Max gets up angrily, and he suggests sending a team of engineers to the space station to fix the satellite. The U.S. Secretary of State, Leonard Deckham, asks Max to seek help from Jake as he was the one who designed the Dutch boy. He then goes to meet Jake in the countryside. On the other hand, scientists and astronauts are sent to fix the satellite over Afghanistan. An astronaut holding a small Indian flag on his shoulder is appointed to collect the data from the old satellite. The astronaut takes out a hard drive containing all the data and hides it in a file. After that, he walks into an airlock, and when he returns, he gets trapped. Suddenly, the windows shatter, and he is thrown out of the satellite due to the air pressure. Back to Max, who has now arrived in place of Jake. Max meets Jake's daughter, Hannah, who greets him happily and informs him that Jake is busy designing machines. Max meets Jake and tells him that the Dutch boy is not functioning properly. Jake claims the Dutch boy can never stop working because Jake is its designer. Max convinces him to fix the problem, and he agrees. At the International Climate Council in Hong Kong, China, a supervisor named Cheng Long from the Dutch boy program is working late into the night in his office. He feels the warm temperature and goes to a nearby grocery store to get cold water and some eggs. On the road, eggs fall from his hand and start to cook due to the hot temperature. Suddenly, the ground starts to jolt due to an earthquake, and a volcano erupts from the ground. People rush away in panic, and Chang also gets inside his car and runs away. The skyscraper starts to collapse, and the whole city caves in. On the other side, Jake readies himself for the space mission and is welcomed by the chief scientist and the commander of the station, named Ute Fossbinder. She introduces Jake to the other crew members who are accompanying him to the space station. Back to Cheng, who has now returned to his office and informed Max via phone call that he is unable to access China's Dutch boy database. He tells Max that someone has hacked the satellite. Max tries to log in, but he is also denied access. Cheng informs Max that if the Dutch boy goes out of control, a storm can occur, which will destroy the whole world in no time. Soon after, Chang drops the call, and a group of armed men with their faces covered entered the office. But before they can catch Chang, he hides. The men's leader takes out all the data from Chang's laptop about the Dutch boy's malfunction. The next day, Max meets a cybersecurity expert named Dana in the office. He tells her to check the database and point out what is wrong. She learns that someone has hacked the satellite and is deleting the weather information. On the space station, Jake and his crew check the video of the person who is collecting data from an Afghan satellite. 
they find that a drive has been stuck in the airlock during the incident. Jake and Ute go to the airlock and get the drive. But Jake lies to the crew, saying they have lost the drive in space. Later, Jake and Ute go to the database secretly, and they discover that the satellites over Hong Kong and Afghanistan were made to malfunction. They try to find out who is behind the satellite's failure but to no avail. Meanwhile, Chang boards a flight to the U.S. to meet Max and inform him of everything he heard from the intruders. Before Chang can meet Max, a man pushes him into a running car, causing him to die. However, before Chang breathes his last, he tells Max about a project named Zeus. On the other hand, Jake conveys to Max that some officials at a high level are involved in the malfunctioning of the satellites. Max then goes to Dana, and they search for Project Zeus on the internet. They discover that someone is using the Dutch boy as a weapon against some countries. Jake also believes someone has set a virus in the Dutch boy system to control it. They are left with only one option, reboot the Dutch boy satellite to prevent it from causing further destruction. To accomplish this mission, the first thing they need is President Palm's permission. Max and Jake suspect that the president is the one who is trying to weaponize the Dutch boy satellite. Jake believes the president is trying to destroy those nations that do not stand by the U.S. Meanwhile, Jake is informed that 200 more satellites are malfunctioning. A hailstorm in Japan has killed hundreds of people, and the temperature in Brazil has dropped to its lowest, causing everything to freeze, including the people. Suddenly, it is announced that the storm will hit the Earth's surface in an hour and a half. Meanwhile, the space station warns of a self-destruction protocol that was designed by Jake to destroy the station and prevent it from falling to Earth. A state of fear prevails in the space station, and the scientists are rushing to save their lives. Meanwhile, Jake discovers that Duncan, one of their teammates, has put the virus into the Dutch boy system. On Earth, Max is attending a president's speech, and he informs Leonard the Secretary of State, about the hidden motives of the President. Leonard opens fire on Max after the latter discovers the former. It is then revealed that Leonard is the one behind all the malfunctions because he wants to get to the status. Max escapes the attack and goes to Sarah, where he tells her to kidnap the President to stop the Dutch boy. Dramatically, Sarah and Max hold the President hostage. During this time, massive tornadoes hit Mumbai and a heat wave hit Russia, killing hundreds of people. On the spaceship, everyone except Jake and Ute exited. Later, Max and Sarah arrest Leonard, and afterward, the president is taken to the mission control headquarters to provide biometric information. After that, Max learns that his brother Jake is not going to survive, and he regrets his idea of sending him to the space station. Jake then says goodbye to Max and hurries to reboot the Dutch boy. Before the time comes to an end, Ute and Jake succeed in rebooting the Dutch boy. The natural calamities on Earth also stopped. To save themselves, Jake and Ute get into an old spaceship. One of the scientists sends a shuttle to their spaceship to successfully land them. The environment on Earth returns to its normal state. Six months later, Jake is sitting with his daughter and Max. Jake is not appointed as the chief of the new space mission. The movie ends there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you can stay updated with our daily movie recaps.